Hey guys, it's me. Uh, I'm here at the Morris Cancer Center at UCSD and I'm getting ready to go in. I have an appointment with a psychologist today. Um, but I just want to do a quick update real quick. Um, in regards to where I am with my chemo and the possible surgery, I'll update more on that um, after my appointment on Thursday. My doctor is taking my case to the tumor board tomorrow, Tuesday, um, and I should find out Thursday um, if they think that surgery is going to be a realistic option. Uh, I dealt with a lot of frustration this last week because um, I was told that I had to be strong for surgery and that if I could be strong enough for surgery, that surgery would be an option. And so I did my best and I was strong and I was optimistic. And um, now it seems like I am not having enough symptoms that uh, I seem to be doing great. So why have surgery? Um, it's my opinion and you know I, I don't know what that's worth but um, I am on a lot of medication and I feel like it shouldn't matter how I feel uh, it should matter how much cancer is in my abdomen and if they think that they can get it you know I think that's what we should be judging this off of not how I feel um, because the reality is is that um, I'm not one to complain or to ask for help I have my pains I have my symptoms I have my side effects um, and I just choose to push through them and, and to still continue on with my day even though I am having these symptoms and side effects. So anyway, um, trying not to be bitter about that whole situation, um, but that's that. What I want to talk more about right now is, um, as I already said, I'm here to see uh, the psychologist um, and I want to talk to you more about where I am mentally and emotionally. Um, on this journey um, so it's really easy to post a cool picture on Instagram or to do a really positive update on Facebook uh, like for instance this last weekend um, Johnny took the three girls to the father-daughter dance and they looked beautiful and they look forward to it and we're so lucky that um, the military housing that we live in they um, put the father-daughter dance on each year and it's a wonderful event and it's you know it's magical for the girls and so I'm so glad they got to go and it was so fun and they were beautiful but you know in between getting them ready and curling their hair and and letting them pick out their favorite lip gloss to wear um, the thoughts that are going through my mind are um, will I feel good enough next year to do their hair um, how many more father-daughter dances am I going to be able to help them pick out the right dress and make sure they have the right shoes? Um, these are the thoughts that go through my mind on a daily basis. Um, so, um, a few weeks ago I posted a short video. Um, I was having a really bad day and I, I just wanted to be real. Um, because so often all you do see are these Instagram photos and these Facebook posts and it's really easy to um, only put the good out there uh, because you know what I'm mean, the good is 90% of our day um, but man that 10% it's hard and and it's a battle it's, it's an inner battle that I have with myself on a daily basis I wake up in the morning and I could take the easy route and I could cry and I could complain and I could say why me and um, you know, I, I would love to do nothing but cry all day because man would that be easy but I tell you what every day I wake up and I choose to take the hard route and uh, I put a smile on my face and I focus on the blessings in my life because other than this horrible disease uh, my life is pretty great. I have a great husband and great kids and great support system and friends. It's beautiful outside and and so it's not healthy to suppress the thoughts that I have. So I definitely process them and, and I say, you know, man, this really sucks. I wonder this, I wonder that. I let these thoughts go through my head. But more than anything, I remember that my children still need a very involved and active mother. My husband still needs a caring and kind wife and and so I do process these feelings and I go on about my day and I choose to put a smile on my face 
and and to look at the bright side of things I guess the whole point of the video and the biggest takeaway that I want people to understand is that um, this is a marathon it's not a sprint I don't expect to be cancer free ever in my life due to my um, the stage four and where it's spread throughout my body um, so I know I'm never gonna be cancer free but I just want people to understand that even though I may be smiling on Facebook, I am still dealing with this battle on a daily basis. And so when I have these moments of weakness, um, I don't want you to feel sorry for me. And I, I don't do it um, because I want a ton of attention. I do want a lot of attention for appendix cancer. Let's be, let's be realistic. For any cancer in general, all of cancers, you know, all cancer sucks. And I want as much attention to it as possible. But... I just do that for anyone else that's maybe going through a hard time in their lives or they or someone they know is battling cancer. Um, it's hard and it sucks and these moments happen and I just want to be real and I want to be realistic and, and show you that, you know, it's possible to have those moments and still have good days and, and a good life and uh, I appreciate everyone checking in on me. Um, I know because this is a marathon and not a sprint, I know that it's really difficult. Uh, life goes on, people forget, they get busy, and I don't expect you know everyone to check in on me, but for those of you that do check on, in on me um, on a daily to weekly basis, it's so much appreciated, and, um, and your kind words, Sometimes it's hard to respond to everyone, especially whenever I've gotten bad news at the doctor's office or I'm not feeling well that day. Um, I don't mean to be rude, um, but just know that when you do check in, it means a whole lot to me uh, and I appreciate it and it does brighten my day. And um, and yeah, so I'm gonna hop off here. I'm gonna go into my doctor's appointment. Um, I hope everyone's having a great day. It's super hot here in Southern California. Uh, tomorrow's the last day of school. Madeline has her kindergarten promotion, so we're looking forward to that. We've got a, a movie to go to on Wednesday. I'm going to take all four kids by myself, and then I think we're going to try to go to the beach on Thursday. So we have a very busy and fun week coming up, and um, again, I'll update you more about surgery and that kind of thing uh, more at the end of the week whenever we have more information. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.